Welcome back to our tutorial about Zoom. On this episode, we'll be talking about the Zoom homepage and its many different features available and also its purposes. When you open Zoom, did you notice that there are other sections you can see on the top part of the window? If you click on the Meeting section, it will show all the scheduled meetings and personal meetings. You can also see your own scheduled meetings here. From here, you could also edit your own Zoom meetings by clicking on the edit button. It will allow you to change the password, enable the waiting room, mute participants upon entry, and automatically record meetings. You could also view your recorded meetings history by clicking on the recorded tab, which will show all the files containing previous recordings. You could play the files audio only or video only and even delete the file. In the Zoom homepage, you can also see the contact section. When opened, you might notice that it's empty. You can change it by adding contacts simply by clicking the plus button. It will then show you different choices. Click add contact and simply enter an email address to add someone. Did you know Zoom also allows you to add an app? You can do this by clicking the plus button then clicking the add an app button. This will automatically bring you to the search engine. Then you can basically select an extension of an app which you want to add to Zoom. There are options you can do for your contacts. Start off by selecting a contact then click the three dot button on the right side of the contact. There are options which allow you to meet the contact with video or without video. It also can notify us when the contact is available. Add members which will make a group chat. Note that a group chat is different from a channel. Lastly, you can either star this contact, block this contact, clear chat history, or delete that contact. You can view starred and external contacts by clicking on these drop downs. When you click on the contact, it shows you either their profile and also shows if they are starred or not. You can also chat or start a Zoom call with them, see their status and pro profile visibility, and of course their email address. Did you know you could also merge your Zoom account with your cloud, either with Google, Microsoft, or Exchange, which grants permission to your Zoom account to write reminders in your calendar and many more. Here, you could also create a channel which allows you to create private or public groups where you can send messages, files, images, and start an instant meeting with channel members. To create a channel, click the plus button again and select create a channel. You will then be able to edit the channel name, channel type, privacy which allows external users to join and invite users. You could also manage posting permissions to everyone admin only or admins and specific people. If a channel has been previously made by someone else and you are told to join it, once again click the plus button and then select join a channel. You then can enter the channel name. Lastly, you can see all your channels in the channel section. See start channels, edit channel only if you are an admin by changing the rules imposed by you and meet with everyone in the channel. The chat section has many uses. When you go to the chat section, there will be a gray sidebar shown. On the very top, you can see starred messages, which when clicked simply shows all your starred messages. The other option below shows you contact requests, which are contacts that want to add you. All files show you all files you sent or received. You can also search files by typing in the file name and filter them on the right side. You can filter them by the most relevant or most recent, file types, searched in specific chats, who sent it, and when it was sent. You can also see your account name on the sidebar which is like your own personal space to write in your notes or anything to remind yourself. You can start a chat with a new person by clicking the plus button next to the recent bar. 
when you chat with someone, you can send messages, emojis, files, audio messages, and even screenshots, which can be found above the chat bar. You can also open the chat in a separate window by hovering on the top right corner, which will then show a button. You can also start a meeting with them by clicking the video button. The drop down arrow beside it allows you to either turn on the video or turn it off when you're in the call. When hovering over a message, there will be three options that appear. You can reply to the message. When you reply to a message, a new text box will appear at the bottom of the message and it works the same as a normal text box. You also can react to the message which means you can reply to it with an emoji. Lastly, you can click the three dot icon. When clicked, it will allow you to follow the message, star it, share it, mark it as unread, or copy it. You also can notice an eye symbol found on the top right corner of the screen. When clicked, the following shows. You can click on the profile info drop down to see their email address. Images to see the images sent to each other. Files to see files sent to each other. Starred messages to see the messages you starred with the contact. Lastly, more options allow you to notify us when the contact is available, block the contact, clear chat history with the contact, and delete the contact. You can also see your channels or groups in this section. The channel or group chat options are the same as when you chat with one person, but with some additions. Here, you are able to pin a message for everyone by clicking on the three dot icon and then selecting the pin message for everyone button. The eye symbol when clicked also gives more options. You're now able to add members even if you're not admin. You're also able to see the chat info which contains the group descriptions. You can also edit it if you're an admin. You can also view the members and the roles. You're also able to see pin messages and start messages. The difference between pin messages and start messages is that start messages are private, while pin messages are public. Lastly, you can add apps which have been discussed earlier in this video. Did you know that there is a given search bar on the top right of the Zoom homepage, which allows you to search for contacts, channels, or groups? It also allows you to advance search, which allows you to search messages or a file which can be narrowed to start only or filtered, and search for a contact or channel. Lastly, you can view your search history and clear all of it too. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned new features from this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next tutorial about Zoom. Leave a like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. See you next time.